Hello everyone, welcome to Whistle First. I am Julie, your training manager. Have you ever wondered, when you were in school, and something went unfair or unpleasant, what did you do? You went straight to your parents, or teacher and made a complaint. Today we live in a world where you can't expect everything to be fair and ethical. What gives you comfort to keep going is trust. Trust that you have in the system and processes of your organization. To enhance this trust and reinforce your belief in your organization, you have strong whistleblower mechanism, now in Lenskart as well. Today you are going to understand about your whistleblower policy and complaint reporting mechanism. Whistleblower policy promotes culture of ethics, integrity, honesty and trust. This also provides an avenue to raise your concerns. There can be various concerns that you may want to raise. Here we are talking about concerns against unethical practices. To clarify, HR-related issues like salary, increment and promotion, or day-to-day -day operational issues, does not fall under the category of unethical practices and should not be reported under whistleblower policy. Day-to-day -day issues and complaints can be raised with either to your reporting manager, skip level manager or HR team. Raising a concern helps Lenskart to proactively identify and prevent unethical practices. This also helps in strengthening trust between organization and its employees. Therefore you are encouraged to raise complaint against unethical practices. Lenskart has defined following category of acts as unethical practices. 1. Fraud, theft, or embezzlement. 2. Harassment or discrimination. 3. Violence, or health and safety hazards. 4. Breach of confidentiality, and 5. Deliberate violation of law. You are encouraged to raise a complaint against these, if any of these are currently happening or have happened in the past. Now we are going to talk about each of these acts in detail. Fraud, theft, or embezzlement. Fraud can lead to serious impact on business profitability and organizational growth. Some specific examples of acts under this category include Stealing cash, inventory, product, or other assets Using company funds to buy equipment, supplies, or materials for personal benefit Receiving money or gifts from suppliers in exchange for giving them lens cart business Furnishing false information at the time of employment or during the course of employment Authorizing or receiving payment for goods not received or services not performed. Harassment or discrimination. Any form of harassment or discrimination is not acceptable within the company. Harassment or discrimination includes 1. Unwelcome sexual advances, requests for sexual favors, and other verbal or physical conduct of a sexual nature. 2. Any other form of harassment of employees customers, contractors or suppliers. 3. Discrimination on the basis of race, ethnicity, religion, gender, age, sexual orientation, marital status or disability. With a young workforce that spends a considerable time in the office working together, it is not uncommon for romantic relationships to develop at the work. However, it is important to avoid personal involvement that impairs a person's ability to exercise his her office responsibility. This is also important to note that, in addition to whistle committee, the company has also formulated internal complaint committee to handle complaints related to sexual harassment. You may choose to report sexual harassment related complaints directly to internal complaint committee or you may also file your complaint under this policy. Ultimately, complaints related to sexual harassment will be directed to internal complaint committee for further action violence or health and safety hazards. Any kind of physical abuse will form part of the violence and the same is strictly prohibited in the company. This also include unreasonable shouting or screaming in anger. At Linscart, we believe that occupational injuries and illnesses are preventable and can be eliminated. No production goal, cost saving, time saving or competitive advantage is worth an injury of any kind. The company is committed to maintaining a safe, secure and healthy workplace at all time. Breach of confidentiality. 
company's information, data or documents are strictly internal to the organization. Confidential information may include Business plans, including potential acquisitions or dispositions Personal or business information of employees, customers, vendors etc. Pricing strategies or financial information Patent or trademark applications, product development or research and development information Employee and salary information Any other internal matter or information specific to the organization This does not include information, which is available in public domain for consumption of public at large Do not disclose any confidential business information to anyone outside the company, even to members of your own family, unless the disclosure is for a legitimate business purpose and properly authorized. Deliberate violation of law. Any act of deliberate non-compliance to the legal obligations like non-compliance related to license renewal, physical security, legal reporting etc. To reiterate following are the five categories of acts which are classified as unethical practices and you are encouraged to raise a complaint against these acts. Your company has appointed an independent organization, Whistle First, for fearless reporting of unethical practices. Whistle First has developed a dedicated web page for employees of Lenscart. Web page can be accessed at www.whistlefirst.com slash Lenscart. The web page contains following sections. Section 1 contain 4 options to file a complaint against unethical practices. Option 1. A simple online form is available on the web page. You can raise your complaint online using laptop, desktop, tablet or mobile. Option 2. A 24 by 7 hotline number is available for you. You may call and interact with an expert advisor or may also record your concern over voicemail. Option 3. You can report your concern through email at complaint at whistlefirst.com. Option 4. You can also write and send your complaint at the mentioned postal address. It is important to mention the company code while raising your complaint. Company code for Lenscart is 10010. While reporting you can choose to report anonymously, or you can also disclose your identity. In any case your identity will be protected. Your complaint will be directed to the Whistle Committee of Lenska. Section 2 of the web page contain option to review the status of your complaint. Once the complaint is submitted online, you will get a user ID and password. In this section, you can track the status of your complaint. Despite maintaining your confidentiality in case of anonymous complaint, using this platform you may interact with the Whistle Committee and share further clarification or information. Section 3 of the web page contain your whistleblower policy and this training video for your ready reference. You are requested to go through the same to understand this framework more in detail. The company prohibits and strictly discourages retaliation against whistleblower. Rest assured, you will not be disadvantaged in any manner for raising a valid concern. The complaint will be thoroughly investigated based on the facts within a reasonable time period. Appropriate disciplinary action will be taken, if the unethical practice is established during investigation. It is also important to highlight that your organization does not support motivated or false complaint for personal benefits. You are advised to strictly avoid making a false complaint. Thank you for your time for this session. Let's all of us join hands and be part of our ethical business journey.